Thank you so much for joining us um, today. Our topic is spiritual philanthropy, and it was going to be a book of mine. Uh, it still might be, but I was compelled to do this as one of our lecture topics, spiritual philanthropy, and see where it grows from there. It might just remain as a topic, or it might um, develop into a book. I'm not sure. Um, but with spiritual philanthropy, uh, philanthropy rather, it's kind of a fancy word that came to me, two words actually, and really it's universal generosity, or God generosity, or generosity with a capital G. And where does it come from? Do we control it, or do we allow it to come forth? How can it manifest in our everyday life? Right here, right now, we become aware of this endless field of love energy in which we reside. We are one and the same with it, individualized expressions of the one which we are extensions of. As we breathe, so does love breathe. As we live, so does love live. As we laugh, create, contribute, multiply, so too does love laugh, create, contribute, and multiply. Because love is omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient, and is always expanding, so too are we expanding. For love needs us to expand and to create, to express, and to be all that it can be. We affirm and we declare right here and right now in this energy of love that we are already all that is great. We all are already all that is eternal and good because that is what we are allowing to be born through us as us. We are already perfection continually blossoming through us as us and it feels good. It feels great as above, so below. We give thanks for this word knowing that it is law and is already so in the mind of the universe. We release the word in gratitude and appreciation, letting it be so now and unto forevermore. And so it is, and so it is. Amen, amen, amen.